The Palace of Versailles in France is an enduring symbol of absolute monarchy, opulence and artistic grandeur. This magnificent state, known for its lavish gardens and iconic hall of mirrors, tell a story of power, revolution and historical transformation. The Origins of Versailles Originally a hunting lodge, Versailles was transformed into the lavish palace. We know today by King Louis XIV in the 17th century. The construction began in 1661, aiming to manifest the king's vision of absolute power and centralized government. Architect Louis Leva, landscape designer André Lenotra, and interior decorator Charles Lebrun worked together to create this unparalleled symbol of luxury and elegance. Louis XIV moved the royal court to Versailles in 1682, shifting the political epicenter from Paris to this countryside palace. By bringing nobles to live at Versailles, he was able to keep a close eye on them, solidifying his control over the French aristocracy. The palace quickly became the center of political, social and cultural life in France, setting trends that echo throughout Europe. Architectural and artistic marvels Versailles is renowned for its breathtaking architecture and intricate interior decorations. The building itself is a marvel of French Baroque design, characterized by symmetry, classical proportions, and elaborate detailing. The palace sprawls over 63,000 square meters with more than 2,300 rooms, each adorned with stunning artwork, frescoes, and gilded accents. One of the palace's most famous features is the Hall of Mirrors, the grandiose gallery stretching 73 meters in length is lined with 357 mirrors that reflect the natural light from the garden-facing windows. In the 17th century, mirrors were a luxury and the sheer number within the hall emphasized the wealth and power of the French monarchy. The Hall of Mirrors was not just a spectacle of architectural innovation, but also a venue for state events, including diplomatic receptions, court gatherings and even the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in 1990, which ended World War I. Beyond the Hall of Mirrors, the palace contains the king's and queen's state apartments, a series of appealingly decorated rooms where the royal family lived and received guests. The king's bedchamber and the queen's bedchamber are particularly notable for their elaborate furnishings artworks and the ceremonial aspects that define life at court. Each room in these apartments was carefully designed to convey the grandeur and divine right of the monarchy, incorporating themes from mythology, history and religion. The Gardens of Versailles the Garden of Versailles, designed by André Lenotra, are just as iconic as the palace itself. Spanning approximately 800 hectares, they feature meticulously arranged flower beds, geometric patterns, and series of elaborate fountains and water features. 
These gardens represent the classical French formal garden style, embodying the king's control over nature. One of the garden's most impressive features is the Grand Canal, an artificial waterway that stretches for 1.6 kilometers. In the 17th century, the canal was used for boating parties, showcasing the leisure and luxury and characterized life at Versailles. The gardens also house the Latona Fontaine and the Apollo Fontaine, both of which refer to classical mythology and celebrate the Sun King, Louis XIV, who identified himself with the Greek god Apollo. Additionally, the orangery is another stunning part of the gardens. It houses thousands of orange trees and another exotic plants, providing a glimpse into the botanical interests of the French aristocracy. The garden's grand layout with its ordered lines, symmetry, and use of perspective reflects the ideals of order and authority that were central to Louis XIV reign. Versailles through the ages Versailles remained the center of French political power until the French Revolution in 1789, when Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette were forced to leave the palace. After the monarchy's fall, the palace was stripped of much of its furniture and art, and the West Estate fell into disrepair. However, its historical importance was recognized and restoration efforts began in the 19th century. During the 19th and 20th centuries, Versailles underwent several changes, including its conversion into a museum by King Louis Philippe in 1837. The museum, known as the Museum of the History of France, aimed to celebrate French history through art and artifacts displayed in the palace. The Hall of Mirrors gained new historical significance in 1919. When the Treaty of Versailles was signed there, officially ending World War I, Versailles today Today, the Palace of Versailles is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most visited attractions in France. It receives millions of visitors annually who come to marvel at its opulent architecture, art and history. The palace continues to host cultural events, concerts and exhibitions preserving its legacy as a hub of artistic and intellectual activity. Visitors can explore the lavish rooms, stroll through the expensive gardens, and witness the musical fountains, shows that bring the garden's water features to life. The palace also has the gallery that battles a grand hall displaying paintings of French military victories, offering insight into the country's historical narrative. Conclusion Versailles is more than just a place. It is a testament to the power, artistry and history of France. From its opulent halls to its stunning gardens, Every corner of Versailles tells a story of absolute monarchy, cultural achievement, and historical transformation. Its blend of art, politics, and nature continues to inspire visitors, making it a timeless symbol of French heritage. Mm -hmm.